Professor Pranked. It is the video going viral today, and it all happened inside an Aquinas College classroom. Right now, the professor who was pranked and two of the students who helped pull it off are live in our studio. We'll talk to him in a minute, but first, I want to show you the video that is getting all of the clicks today. Um, hello? Oh, yes? Okay, well, you might, you might uh, want to um, okay, okay. down. Okay, okay, thank you. Um, hey, I want to publicly apologize. Um, that, that's okay. I've, I'm very sorry. I've, I've been expecting this, and okay. I already know what I'm going to name the baby. The first name will be April, and the middle name will be Cool. <laughs> right now the professor who was pranked Stephen Barrows and two of the students involved Josh Wyland and Rachel Rona thank you for joining us and boy you sure are a good sport <laughs> thanks it was such a fantastic joke <laughs> you guys tell me how did you think this up who was the brainchild what happened what was the inspiration uh, we were just hanging out a couple weeks before April Fool's Day and my friend Bailey who unfortunately has a Aquinas lacrosse game tonight <laughs> okay um, we thought of the idea because we realized we were going to be in class on April 1st and we knew Professor Barrows was a good sport so we were like we have to plan something and we remembered his cell phone policy that you have to answer on speakerphone if it goes off so it kind of started there and everyone in the group built off of it to plan the pregnancy joke. Well, he's a good sport, but he has a pretty strict policy for his class with that, that cell phone rule. I mean, it's not just like <laughs> turn the cell phone off or get it out of here or leave class. It's answer it on speakerphone. <laughs> well, luckily, nobody had ever really had their phone go off okay. in class before. And I think it had once or twice before, but they just kind of like turned it off and stowed it. Uh -huh. So when we were pulling the prank, we had to make sure that, um, that Taylor kind of rummaged around in her backpack for a while so that we like the fellow conspirators I guess could say like oh don't you have that policy where she has to answer it on speakerphone so <laughs> it did take a little bit of work to to make it happen because I'm sure that he wouldn't have made her answer it on speakerphone and you did a lot of work behind the scenes with yeah. the video and actually put the tr you know transcribing what was said yeah and okay. actually it was it was really hard to hear I mean as you can tell when you're watching the video so we asked Ian who is one of our friends who called in and um, we just asked him to email us what he said because okay. he's so great he's um, on the improv troupe at our school and okay. he wrote an entire script out of what he was going to say and work through it with Taylor. So we added it in because it is a little hard to hear. So did you have the heads up that it was going to be on the Today Show or did it, how did that happen? They, they emailed us and asked permission. Okay. So they're really great about that. Even though it's on the internet, you know, and, and you, some would say public domain, like they did ask. So we did know that. Um, and we checked with Professor um, Barrows beforehand because, you know, that's something we want him to be comfortable with as well. <laughs> Was that surprising to you that they contacted you, the Today Show? Absolutely. I mean, this has gone viral. <laughs> yeah. This is a national joke. The joke of the day, you could say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about being the butt of the joke of the day, Professor? Well, you know, it, some people call say, say that I'm the victim of a prank, but these days I have to look at it and say I'm actually the beneficiary of the prank. <laughs> yes. Because, you know, it's actually been so well received, and, uh, and that just makes you feel good. Well, doesn't it feel good, too, when you can laugh at yourself? Absolutely. <laughs> Does the policy still stand in your classroom? That's what I want to no know. Way. No, no way. <laughs> the next day I just said, hey, turn it off, shut it down. <laughs> so it's just so funny. What do you expect to happen next? Anything? Do you think that people will continue to watch it? Do you think this is your 15 minutes of fame? Or do you have a future in this? You know... <laughs> Everybody keeps asking that, and we're not pros. <laughs> we just put this up, and we have no idea. People kept, keep saying, like, we're tweeting it to Ellen, we're tweeting it to, okay. to Jimmy Kimmel. So we, like, we have no idea. That's never going to happen. <laughs> um, but we're just excited to kind of be able to share Aquinas with with the world. With, with you the know, world, and that's, that's really what it's yeah. done. It's put you guys on the map nationally, mm -hmm. don't you yeah. think? Yeah. And we kind of joked at the beginning of this, we have a Facebook message between All us students time. who plan the prank. Um, on Sunday morning, we had like 7,000 views. We were freaking and out. And we were freaking oh, out that we were at 7,000. So we had no idea million. that yeah. it would become what it has become. Last um, night I went to bed and I, I posted on Facebook just kind of as a joke, like, oh, wow, you know, I'm going to bed dreaming of 2,000 or 2, 2 million uh, views. And I woke up and it was three. It was <laughs> Wow. Crazy. You guys, thank you for joining us. No problem. Thank no you. Problem. Thanks for having us.